What you doing? Hey, I Andrew! Was, oh, how long have you been? I, I was practicing for. Do you always practice with antlers on? Well, um, I, I, I mean, um, no. Do you just get it ready for Christmas? Oh yeah, yeah, but yeah, just yeah, yeah, just 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 get ready for 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 Christmas. Um, why why are you guys in? Well, here? we have some we have some news that we want oh, to share. Oh, okay. okay. We want to talk about our theme. Oh, God great. incarnate taking place. Wonderful. That's our Advent theme. Yes. And we have some very special services that are coming up that we want you to be ready for. Great. Okay. Well, I think telling me is, is fine, but, but why don't we tell the congregation? It's Good true. Idea. Yeah, yeah, that, let's do that. Let, let's tell folks. Yeah. Yeah, well, we want to start with December 20th, which is a Wednesday night. We will be hosting a longest night service. This is a service that will be here in the sanctuary at St. John's beginning at 7 p.m. Now it's preceded by our Wednesday night live dinner beginning at 5 p.m. So you can come anytime between 5 and 7, grab something to eat, and then join us here in the sanctuary when we will center and reflect on, well, some of the heavy emotions that come during the holiday season. So what, what about what about like the closer we get to, to Christmas? Like what about Christmas Eve? Do we have anything going on here on Christmas Eve? Right, and it's a Sunday this it year. It is a it's Sunday a, this year. So that makes yeah. things different. That makes it uh, a, a little tricky, but don't be alarmed. We've made it incredibly easy to remember this year. So we will be having two services, both at 1015, one at 1015 AM and one at 1015 PM. Both of these services will have classic Christmas carols, the reading of the Christmas story, and the wonderful fellowship and feelings you expect at a Christmas Eve service. Particularly, the morning service at 10.15 a.m. will feature our children's choir and have the children's message and be a bit more family-oriented. The later service at 10.15 p.m. will have a string quartet, the United Ringers, our handbell ensemble, the chancel choir, and the lighting of candles while singing Silent Night. Oh, and I almost forgot, both services also include Holy Communion. Mm -hmm. Wow, that sounds remember. really yeah. great. Yeah. Now, Christmas ends on December 25th, right? Hmm. Well, there are the 12 days of Christmas. There are indeed. There are indeed. Mm. And that's a good reminder to everyone that we will still have worship on December 31st on New Year's Eve. Just one worship service at 1015 a.m. And this will be a really wonderful opportunity for us to remember the things, not just that we want to take into 2024, but also some of the things we want to leave in 2023, the things we want to let go of so that our hands are empty and ready to receive whatever is coming our way in the year ahead. A wonderful time of reflection and singing, and we're still in the season of Christmas on December 31st, so we're going to keep singing Christmas carols, and it will be a wonderful, a wonderful time of reflection as we head into our new year. That's great. Wonderful. Well, 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 this sounds this sounds like a fantastic way to end our 2023. All these great, great worship services and, and yeah. things to remember our yeah. theme, God Incarnate taking place. God Incarnate taking place. And we hope that you will join us. All right, Andrew, you got to put your antlers That's back right. on. Dale, I'm going to need you to take that hat off because we have work to do. All right. All right. Take care.